What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you guys are new here, consider subscribing. It's that big red box down in the right hand corner. And while I know it's been a while since I made my last video, um, so I wanted to make you guys a video today. Um, and I just wanted to apologize um, for any of you that were looking forward to my videos the past few weeks. Um, but school has just been absolutely crazy. I just got done with my second testing week here um, at my college. And for those of you who don't know, I'm in a Master's of Biosciences program right now at one of the DO schools here in Kansas City. And so basically in today's video, guys, I just want to talk to you guys about what a master's program is and how it can help you guys get into medical school. So I imagine that the majority of you watching right now are planning on going to medical school and are starting to realize how difficult of a process it is um, when trying to get into medical school. Um, and so in this video, I want to talk about the master's program that I am currently in here in Kansas City, Missouri. Um, the school I'm attending is called Kansas City University of Medicine and Biosciences. So um, you probably have heard of this school. Um, if not, um, it's definitely a great school if you're considering applying to their DO program or their master's program. So I highly recommend it. Um, they are very student focused and oriented. Um, they really do care about your success here at this school, which is a rarity um, in my opinion. Hey guys, just a quick side note. If you haven't already, come hang out with us on Facebook. Our Facebook group is called Med School Mentor, um, and it's where you can collaborate with other pre-meds. Um, and then if you shoot me a message on our Facebook page, which is also called Med School Mentor, um, you can chat with me personally. It's one-on-one. -on -one. Um, I provide mentoring services where we can talk about your individual needs and how to help you get into medical school. So come check us out, guys, and enjoy the rest of the video. So yeah, if you guys are considering applying to DO school or um, the Master's of Biosciences program, I highly recommend Kansas City University. Um, you guys will not be disappointed. And so like I previously mentioned, I just got done with my second testing week here um, at Kansas City. And so the Master's of Biosciences program here at KCU um, is a one-year program. Um, there's no thesis. You simply take upper division science courses, you take exams, and you get a, a new GPA, essentially. Um, and so that GPA that you get will be evaluated by medical schools as a separate GPA. And since the only classes you'll be taking are science classes, this GPA will be your new science GPA. So when you send it out to medical schools, they'll be able to see your undergrad science GPA but then they'll also see your graduate level science GPA as well. And so I'm still in the first semester of my master's program. So I wanted to tell you guys the classes that I'm currently taking. Um, so I'm in anatomy and physiology. I'm in epidemiology and I'm in histology and molecular biology. So five classes, they're all upper level classes um, and you probably have taken some of these classes in undergrad and I would say the difference is that we go into a lot more depth and the classes we're taking are more applied towards medicine. So we're not learning you know about prokaryotes or eukaryotes but we're learning about how molecular biology applies to medicine and things that we'll use in the medical field. And so now I want to shift gears a little bit and tell you guys how a master's program helps you get into a medical school. Um, and so when you finish your first semester of your master's program, you'll have your GPA. Um, hopefully that GPA is very high because I know at my school at least, if you have a 3.6 GPA at the end of your first semester and your MCAT score is above a 500, you're automatically guaranteed an interview at this school for the DO school. And so that's just for my school. I know other schools um, give you direct admission into their med school if you get a certain GPA, but that's not really how we do it here at KCU. And so I bet another question you guys may have is what is the schedule like uh, when you're doing a master's program? And so they really try and simulate medical school as much as they can. So you have five upper division science classes. Um, you go to school every day, uh, Monday through Friday, 
um, and you only have two classes one day and then you'll have three the next day. And each class is about 50 minutes long, so you're not really on campus that long, um, about three to four hours max on your longer days. Um, and then a lot of students will actually stay on campus to study, um, but I prefer going home. I study a little bit better at home where I'm comfortable, but you want to make sure that you're studying in a distraction-free area um, because this, this program is no joke. Um, you're going to need to study three to four to five hours a day, and the amount of time that you study really depends on the person that you are, um, your study habits, um, the material that you get that day, how dense it is, how much in detail it goes. Um, so there's a lot of factors in determining how long you should be studying. But um, a general rule of thumb would be um, three to four hours a day will be sufficient. And I think one of the biggest things that I've learned doing this master's program is how to actually study for three to four hours at a time. Um, because I know during undergrad, I studied maybe an hour for my for all of my classes total. Um, and obviously that did not work out for me very well. That's why I'm in this master's program um, to increase my science GPA. Um, so by being here, um, I have a better understanding how difficult medical school will be now, but I'll also be a lot more prepared because I've learned how to study and I've learned how to retain a lot of information in a short amount of time. And so that's kind of what also what this program does for you is they throw out a ton of information at you and it's dense, it's detailed information that will be on the test um, and they're not afraid to go into a lot of detail on our tests. Definitely do this master's program if you um, need help learning how to study, um, want to get a general feel of how medical school goes um, because they do a great job at simulating um, medical school and its environment. And so I, I hope I didn't scare any of you off um, because that's not my intent of this video. Um, because the school is really good at helping us be successful. KCU actually has really high statistics for people that are in this master's program. Um, they say I think about 80% of the people that take the master's program, or that do the master's program, get into medical school in the next year. And so you really cannot beat their statistics. I mean, 80% is ridiculous. When you're applying to medical school right out of undergrad, you have about a 4% chance of being accepted into any given medical school. So given that 80% of their students go into medical school within the next year, and that's only within the next year. Um, I don't think they have statistics on the following two or three years because I, I bet those statistics are probably in the 90s. And so if you have a very low GPA or science GPA or MCAT score, doing one of these master's programs could be your saving grace. And so whenever I give anybody advice about applying to medical school, I always tell them, to apply to a master's program as well their first year applying to medical school. Because if you don't get into a medical school, what are you going to do the whole next year? So a master's program would be a great thing to do while you're waiting to get into a medical school the following year. So I want to give you guys um, a bunch of key points to take away um, from this video. So one, I want you guys to apply to master's programs when you are applying to medical school as well um, because it gives you that backup plan just in case you don't get into a medical school your first time or even your second time around. So a master's program is a great thing to do while you're waiting to get into a medical school. Two, you want to make sure that the master's program that you're applying to is um, at a medical school. So for example, my master's program is at Kansas City University of Medicine and Biosciences. So it is at a DO school and therefore if I do well in their program I'm accepted into their medical school. Three, if you have a low science GPA or a low MCAT score you should highly consider applying to a master's of biosciences program because they're gonna help you get a brand new science GPA that you can use to apply to medical schools. 
because like I've mentioned in previous videos, Medical schools, when they're looking at your application, the first thing they're going to look at are your science GPA and your MCAT score. And each school has their own minimums, and if you do not hit one or both of their minimums, they will just throw your application out because there's plenty of other applicants that actually met the minimum requirements. So um, if you don't meet the minimum requirements at the schools you're applying to, don't apply to them and um, apply to a master's program so that you can get a better science GPA. And when I talked about how KCU is very student oriented and they care about your success, that is 100% true because they are doing all they can to help their students get A's in their science classes. The professors know um, the end goals of us, the students, and so they want to make sure we are as prepared as possible for each and every exam that we take so that we can end up getting an A or a B in the class and have that higher GPA so when we apply to medical school, um, we look a lot better. My fourth point would be that generally people that do well in the master's program and go on to medical school ultimately do better in medical school than people who have not completed a master's program. And I've heard it from countless medical students here at my school that they say the students that were previously in the master's program here are now their tutors. Um, so they know the material better, um, they know how to study, they know how to go through the rigorous um, coursework of medical school because they've been there and they've done that um, as they've prepared during their master's program. So a master's program isn't only to increase your GPA, but it's to help you um, transition into medical school more smoothly. And honestly, I can't really think of any more um, bullet points that I could give you guys. Um, I feel like I've said everything that I wanted to say in the video. So if you guys have any questions, just throw those down in the comments below and I'll get back to you. And then for those of you who don't know, we do have a Facebook page and Facebook group. It's called Med School Mentor. Um, if you guys want to chat personally, like one-on-one -on -one with me, um, shoot me a message on the Facebook page and we can talk about your individual needs and how we can help you get into medical school. Um, so just shoot me a message on the Facebook page um, and we'll get in contact that way. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you haven't yet, give it a like and subscribe down below so that you guys don't miss out on any more great content. And I will see you guys in the next video.